Hi everyone, it's Lori. Yesterday I showed this new style of envelope flipbook that I created and it's different than the traditional envelope flipbook in that in the traditional style you take your envelopes and you connect them in a chain fashion using the flap on the envelope like this. That's not how this one is put together. For this one I have a binding system and then each envelope is in this direction. You have the flap and it's bound together by cardstock. And this is a double sided cardstock. It is this pattern on this side and that pattern on the back side. So that makes it really cute. You don't have to use double sided. If, if you don't use double sided, you have to decide if you want the pattern on the inside or the outside. And you could always just put a piece of paper to cover the outside. But this envelope flipbook is made just a little bit differently and I'm going to walk you through how I created this. So the first thing that we need are four envelopes. For mine I made envelopes with my envelope punch board using double-sided cardstock. Totally don't have to do that. You can use pre-made envelopes and for this demonstration I'm just going to use these white um, A2 envelopes. Now the other things we need is a piece of cardstock that measures 11 inches long by whatever width your envelope is. So you can make these as big or as little as your envelopes. So I'm using, mine's the standard A2 size. So it's about five and a half inches wide by 11 inches long, but you, you need 11 inches in length by whatever length your envelope is. So you have that and then you need two pieces of cardstock that's going to be your your front and back cover and so I've cut these down and they perfectly match the size of my envelope. So you just want to cut down two pieces of cardstock that match the size of an unfinished envelope. Okay the next thing that we want to do is grab two of our envelopes and this is up to you. You can do this part or not, or you could do it to all of them or three of them. But I'm going to grab two of my envelopes. I'm going to open them up. It's in there. And I am going to slice them right where the flap is and just slice that flap off. And again, this is optional and totally up to you whether you want to do this to two envelopes, one, all of them, none. Either way it works the same way. Okay, we've got that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is work on our piece of cardstock that's 11 inches long by whatever height your envelope is. And we need to score this every half inch. So if you don't have a scoreboard, you can totally do this with your trimmer. Simply put it in your trimmer at half an inch, close it. You can use the back of a butter knife if you don't have a bone folder and score. Open it up, put it at one inch, close it and score. If you don't have a trimmer, you can mark off every half an inch and do it this way and score. So. You don't have to have a lot of fancy tools to do this. I do have a scoreboard and for the sake of this video, I think that's the fastest way for me to get this done. So I am going to score this at every half an inch. This scoring board is by Stampin' Up. I have uh, the one by Martha Stewart and I have the score pal and this is the only one I use. This is my favorite. I like the scoring tool. I like that it has this onboard storage right here. Oops. It has the on onboard storage. I can put this in there. It also has a slot for it to fit in right here. And I like that it has these markers. Like you can pick these up and move them if like that's set at four and a quarter because that's where I usually score for cards. 
but again, you don't have to have a scoreboard, but I recommend it if you would like one. I like that Stampin' Up! one. Okay, so we've got this all scored every half an inch. Before you make any folds, you need to make some decisions. You need to decide which part you want to be on the outside, which part you want to be on the inside. Since this is my cover, I want this to be on the outside. And then this will be what the inside pages are bound with. So, with that being said, this is the part I want on the outside. So I'm going to flip it over and I want that first fold to be up. Okay, so your first fold, put the side that you want on the outside, face down on your table, and make your first fold up. Okay, and you want to make these creases pretty tight because we're going to use this a lot. Okay, and then from there, you just fan fold it, just like you did in, in school. There's no magic trick here. Okay, so when you get to the end, take a pencil, a knife, whatever, and push those creases down. Nice. Okay, so you're left with this. Okay, you should end, both ends are the same. They're both ending with the peak on the outside and the open end on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to put the side that we want to be on the outside, oops, it's coming undone there. The side that we want to be on the outside, we're going to put it down. Okay, you have your valley here. You're going to pinch that close. Then you come to another valley, close that. And this is where we want to apply adhesive to both sides. So we have valley, valley. The third valley is where we're going to apply adhesive. So I'm going to put my adhesive on both sides. Okay, now you need to decide whether you want to use a flap envelope or one that you cut the flap off. And I alternated mine. So you're going to, we've got glue on both sides. Here's our valley. I think this is the easiest way to show you. I'm putting the envelope flap My writing's going to be upside down, so I'm going to go this way. If you're using anything that has a direction, you want to make sure you're going the right way. So I'm going to put my envelope flat facing me, and I'm going to slide my envelope right down in that valley and pinch it closed. Okay? So we have valley, valley, envelope. Does that make sense? All right, now we're going to skip the next valley, so I'm just going to close it, and I'm going to put my next envelope in this valley. So you're going to skip one, close it, and this one is where we're going to apply the adhesive. So this is what we've got. We lay it down, close that one, and add adhesive. Okay, now I'm going to use one of my envelopes that I cut the flap off of. That would be this one. And the opening is facing me. You can do it however you want, but I want all my flaps going the same way. And squeeze that shut. So this is what we have. Valley, valley, envelope, valley, envelope. I'm going to skip this valley and go envelope. Skip a valley, put adhesive in the next one. And I'm going to hold it this way so you can see it and I get it lined up correct. And I'm now going to use one with the flap and I'm going to slide that right there and pinch it closed. Okay, so this is where we're at. And then guess what we're going to do? We're going to skip this valley and put an envelope in this one. 
This is our final. And there we go. And close it. So you should be left with two valleys on both ends. Two valleys on this end, two valleys on this end. Okay, we're almost there guys. Now, in order to make this stick together, we want to hook the back together. So what we're going to do is put adhesive on the back side. Now I recommend, um, I used ATG on this one and it sticks together, but after it started getting full, it starting, started to pull apart a little bit. I should have used super tape or a little bit stronger adhesive. So that's up to you. But I, before you put this together any further, I would suggest, and I'm just going to use this for now, just for the sake of the video, but you want to go back and apply adhesive on every other one between the envelopes. So leave those two on the end. But we want to close this up. So that close that one. 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 And again, leave the two on the ends. Okay, so this is what we have. Now we're going to apply our cover and it's going to set in this front valley. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is apply our cover. So we're going to skip this first valley and put adhesive on this one. And we're going to line up our cover. And then apply adhesive and close. Going to do the same thing on the back. Skip that first valley, close it, apply adhesive, line up your back cover. Apply adhesive and close it. Okay, so now you can go back here and finish closing this up. Okay, so there you have it. This is the base of the book. You have your cute little binding on the outside and on the inside, it opens with these cute binding system on the inside. You have the envelopes with the flaps. Some of them are just pockets. Some are flaps, some are pockets. And each page opens and turns freely. Like I said, if you didn't use a double-sided cardstock, you could A, put this piece, instead of putting it under the flap, put it on top of the flap, and then that would close it. You could make a cover that goes over this, like that. That would work as well. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope to see lots of you making this style of an envelope flip book. This was a lot of fun. And again, here is here is the one I completed. And I really like having the flaps on some of them, having plain pages on some, and you know, lots of places to tuck a lot of goodies. So I'll see you guys soon.
Bye.